Great to have with us in the booth Cubs general manager Jim Hendry. We were waiting for an update this morning on Andrew Kashner and unfortunately you gave us a couple of them and uh, fortunately not that serious but serious enough to put both guys on the disabled list. Yeah that the bad news is they'll both be out for a while the good news is uh, they should be back very healthy you know not too too long from now and uh, we just got to find our way to to grind through it you know obviously Casey Coleman almost made the club as you mentioned a couple innings ago and uh, he'll come up and start on Sunday and uh, Randy and I'll meet with the staff uh, this afternoon to see whether moves we'll make uh, you know before we get to Milwaukee. So Randy Wells uh, slight strain in his right forearm but the elbow not involved. Correct? Yeah elbow's fine uh, obviously he's been pitching very well he had a great camp and a great first start and uh, had some discomfort yesterday so we we sent him for an MRI and, and uh, he had a pretty good strain in the, in the right forearm but it wasn't anywhere close to his elbow or, or uh, ligament. Andrew Kashner has a mild strain in the back of his right rotator cuff. Yeah and obviously you, you couldn't have got a better start for a, a, a first start for the rookie than he threw yesterday. He was terrific. Here's a guy that's a scout's dream got a great delivery you know textbook mechanics and uh, throws easy gas. And uh, what a shame we just thought that uh, you know it's be a little discomfort everything be fine but. Um, yeah, it's one of those where we'll be real careful with him. He's got such a great future and uh, not worried about it long term, but he's certainly going to miss, you know, some significant time. You know, the odd thing about it, Jim, not to take anything away from the top three guys in a rotation, but Randy and Andrew, yeah. I don't know how you could throw any better than they did first time out. They no, were outstanding. You're right, yeah, we felt great about the five of them. Um, you know, we thought Andrew would have some growing pains, but obviously down the road, we all think he's going to be a high end guy. And uh, one of the strengths we have is that we thought we're really five deep with really significant starting pitching. And like I said, there's there's uh, there's no crying about it. We've got to get through it. But you're exactly right. We felt a, a plus for us with if you had Wells and Caster in the fourth and fifth spot, and, and the way we can close the games out with the last three guys, we thought our pitching was in real good shape, better than advertised. In terms of the process here, if this happens in June or July. The chances are you or Randy would have maybe seen some of the minor league guys but because it comes so close to spring training it does give the major league staff a little better handle on what you have in the organization. Correct? Right absolutely and and obviously with O'Neary being so involved with Randy and I on a daily basis uh, the communication between Mark Riggins and Dennis Llewellyn we know exactly where we ended camp at Fitch Park also now with the minor league clubs you know ready to start tomorrow so we feel good about it. we've got real good young pitching too like in double A that that you don't want to rush them along but they may be capable to, to add something to the table here too in the first couple of months. Uh, and like I said Casey Coleman let's not include spring training go back to last August September he did a terrific job last year when he came up so we got a lot of faith in him. Uh, we're just going to find a way to grind it out stay in the race and, and get Casher and Wells back uh, you know in, in a decent amount of time and, and, and the optimistic way to look at that is they're going to be fresher at the end of the season possibly than the guys that throw 190 to 200 innings between now and October 1st. Yeah, Jim that's what I was going to ask you. There's never a good time for no. an injury especially to your rotation. but uh, if you have to suffer these kinds of injuries you'd rather get them out of the way early in the season and get those guys back healthy and contributing late in the season. Right exactly as bad as we felt last night the good news was we we certainly didn't have a, a significant injury. They weren't going to have to go see uh, other doctors and, and look at a possible surgical procedure. Uh, and, and from that case you hate to start out with this but as long as they're healthy you know for the for the rest of the way when they get back we'll, we'll be we'll be okay.